And, and, okay, you know what? It, Booty did well. That's what I was gonna sum. That's what the, the summation was gonna be. Uh, and Booty's now, a good player. Yeah. <laughs> now we have Carflow versus Gatsby. I'm really excited to see this Gatsby, uh, one of my native Westchesterians. Uh, and for those of you who don't know him, uh, he is the resident Falcon player, I guess. You know, besides Nick C here in New York, you know, he comes out to locals, and his Falcon play is distinctive. Uh, that oh. is a distinctive edge guard. Uh, just car flow going with that rising back air off of ledge. Gatsby without a jump, closing out. Uh, car flow gets that set up going. And the missed tech as well. This gives car flow a potential huge opening. Oh my god, I'm waiting. Okay. I was waiting for the knee, and it never came. <laughs> well, that's the thing. He, he doesn't, admittedly, unless he's drunk, he doesn't fish for the knee. Okay. <laughs> he, Inside he knows the that it's not oh. always the right play. And overall, his offstage game. Either if he's the one on the, you know, the aggressor, or if he's the defender. If he's off stage, it is. He's just one of the best Falcons out there at doing it. I think he took a jump. Oh, he's got to just get the double tap. No, gets him right back to the ledge. Now we actually have a completely even game between these two right now. And man, we saw a lot of patient play in the last set, and this one is going to be the complete opposite with the two of them throwing each other, throwing themselves at each other, and that air dodge was scouted from Carflow. All of this forward rushing coming out from both players, and that time just a little bit of patience and nets Carp for the stop. And especially because I think he got the, the wrong hitbox of jab, but you know, Gatsby sees I got jabbed, I'm gonna try to air dodge because otherwise I might get hit by like back air. And Carp just one step ahead. Oh, at this point, the oh! oh <laughs> Placed in a weird spot on PS2, hit by the roof. And wow. now we get to see what Gatsby can do with some of these nares. 40%, nice. Uh -oh. oh, but pushed all the way off stage right now. Was he going for a footstool? Hold on. <laughs> I, I, both of these players would. <laughs> also, the these are the kind of players that if one of them gets a footstool, then the other one's going to try to get that footstool next. And it's just going to become an escalating problem. Uh, just like Roy at ledge, as we saw uh, yeah. Carpo sit there, pressure off stage, down tilt into a neutral air, down tilt jab. And, and and back, I, back air. Yeah, no, the Roy at ledge was so good, and it's something that Gatsby wasn't really able to recreate as Falcon. He wasn't able to trap Carflow there, just to constantly put him on blast for being at the ledge. Also, so many trades happened that game. So many times where, like, down air from Falcon got just beat out or traded in a really unfavorable way with uh, Roy's moves. That range. You know, Roy's kind of like Sword Falcon, but... That's Falcon with a sword. Hey, yeah. It is indeed still having that disjoint, however low, however close to the body those sweet spots are. But they switch over to Town and City, trying to get more wide space to, for Falcon to use that raw speed and some of these platform extensions. As you were mentioning, Gatsby, oh, quite the offstage that's master. Be it. And that is a stop for Gatsby. Yet again in these game twos, the paradigm flips. That was, that was, that was a zero to death. Yeah. That was beautiful, honestly. Like he had frame traps, he had edge guarding. That was the whole Gatsby Magilla. Well, it's going for a weak knee into something, but it doesn't stop. The, the combo never stops, in case you were wondering. <laughs> yeah, I will say, you know, so Roy has the advantage of having more range, but I feel like Falcon has just the, with the extra speed. If he wants to, he can just let the pressure never stop. But if you're rolling into a Roy jab, then best be sure the back air is soon to follow. But every Again. single time, yep. every single edge guard that has been immaculately successful for Gatsby, it's been the runoff, fastball, double jump there. I mean, in that situation, it's kind of risky to air dodge because you're Roy, you go so low, you know, you fall so fast. So I can understand why he's nervous about air dodging in that situation, but I think, you know, Gatsby has shown he's, you know, more than willing to do it. Oh, that platform helping him out so much, though. Air dodge, I thought he was going to miss the ledge, but Carpo just getting there. Gets a grab into the up air, but nothing doing as of yet. Gatsby super willing to get grabbed as he goes. Oh, oh no. <laughs> the counter pick working out. True, you got him. <laughs> out, outplayed. Yes, outplayed at the stage select screen. Um, <laughs> Easy clap. It's but I, I, okay. <laughs> I feel like in game one, we got to see Carflow execute his game plan, do it really well, trapping him at the ledge, able to like get all of these consistent edge guards on, you know, Falcon. And game two, 
we saw Gatsby do his thing. And his thing involved, uh, I'm going to be in your face the entire time. A single touch will lead to nothing but death for you. Look at that. That was absolutely gorgeous stock from Gatsby. Um, and into game three, I think stage is going to matter a lot. But it just comes down to who's able to execute their game plan. Is Gatsby going to get trapped at the ledge? Or is he going to basically have free reign to just run all over Carflo? Oh, it's starting to look like Carflo maybe has a bit of pressure of his own as he's unloading everything on Gatsby. 48, 57%. He can't land. They're throwing out a ton of aerials, but Carflo getting properly whip punched only for a down throw with the Nair. But, oh, the Stomps are trying to get the back air afterwards, but Carflo throwing out up air out of hit stun to intercept Gatsby. If you want to play at this high pace, then Carflo can equally throw out some of these crazy big swings. <laughs> really uses that to get out of the corner. But, um, oh, is that death? Could be. Oh, it very well there might, it and there it is. <laughs> and I just want to mention for a second that before we saw Gatsby doing a lot of these down airs when trying to land at these very specific spacings, and just now he went for a back air instead. And Carflo tried to go for like a back air to beat out that down air like he had been, but this time around, you know, changing Hold the way on. he gets, he's dead. Oh, did he save him? Nope. No. no jump to be had as Carflo. You turned to face me to talk, and I love that. But also, <laughs> you miss Gatsby, find an amazing starter, and just take it from one side of the stage to the other to take that stock. And Carflo finally finds a, a scramble where he wins it with an F tilt of his own. But Gatsby is just getting in the way of Carflo. If trades have never Ooh. been in his favor, he's not trading anymore. Totally, <laughs> that was so good. Oh, let's see. He gets another one. Another up air out of hit stun. That has been a saving grace for Carflo, but I mean, he's still getting hit every time. Oh, oh and the no. Texa read neutral air. No, down to. I love that drift from Carflo, avoiding so all of those uh, setups on ledge. Able to get to uh, the uh, ledge trap just fine. Backer of his own. Is he going to be able to close out the stock with something like a backer? A ledge trump before it all. So good. We never saw that from him. It's such a rare thing to see players genuinely go for that. And it was the sneak attack, and it worked. And all of a sudden, Carflo, he's not gone. This is definitely going to be hard for him. Gatsby is oh. going to actually finish it off. Another Falcon kick. Dang, he loves that move. I mean, he used it at the corner multiple times, but as an pseudo anti air on this platform, I mean, this Falcon yeah. kick, it's covering. Well, the Falcon kick on that platform is also super interesting because let's say, hypothetically, it doesn't land, you know? He Falcon kicks, he ends up just all the way on the other side of the, uh, oh. yeah, like all that would happen is he would wind up on the other platform. Yeah, you know? I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna advance it a little bit and we get to see as we're, what it play out. This Falcon yeah, also, kick, it's gonna cover all this but Carflow decides to intercept, and by holding forward, he's already missed the eye. Yeah, and hold on a second. Was this, let's, let's just continue to play this here, because was this a trade? It was. I want to point mm. out that in the last, the, the game he lost, he also lost on a trade. All of these, like, final stocks were trades, but at that point, you know, because Gatsby had managed to pull away with such a lead, he was, only, he was at zero in that.